Thanks, Roger. Uh, we wanted to give today a, a complete overview of where we are with numbers right across our organisation. But firstly, following on from Roger, uh, like uh, Sarah's demolition teams, we've been impacted quite heavily by the snow, losing almost three days' productivity in the field. And that equates to around 2,500 inspections that we've lost. The good news is our guys are putting their hand up to work Sunday to try and recover some of that lost ground. Um, so to date, EQC have re received a total of 386,000 claims. Of those, 129,000 relate to contents. Now I'm rounding these a bit. Michael has uh, given you a handout, which will give you the exact numbers. Uh, 298,000 building claims, and we have 69,000 land claims. Of those, 496,000 are still open and uh, are waiting to be dealt with by EQC. Uh, on contents from the September event, we received 55,500 claims and to date 2,200 of those remain unpaid. Now that's due to the property being red stickered, uh, waiting information from insurers as to whether the properties will be demolished and still awaiting proper schedules or schedules that we can work with from the claimants. Of the claims that were received subsequent to February, uh, there is 36,000 where we have sufficient schedules to progress them. We're still waiting on schedules for 78,000 claims and last week alone we made over 3,000 calls to claimants trying to progress their contents claims. Uh, to date we have paid 118 million in contents claims. Uh, buildings, uh, following September, uh, 81,000 full inspections. That was followed fo uh, on in February with 182,000 rapid inspections and subsequent to that we have made a further 47,000 full inspections. Now that doesn't include close to 50,000 phone contacts we made through our fast track program which was for claims under $10,000 following September. So the numbers for September are closer to 130 than 81,000. Uh, that, that, uh, that translates into 1.25 billion in building claims paid to date. In terms of how many of those are over cap, September there was 5,165 and I'm just referring to the main events here. Uh, February 7,966 and in June we had a further 1,200 claims that have exceeded the earthquake commission cap of $115,000 including GST obviously. Uh, repair progress is uh, actually pretty good. Fletchers have completed 2,500 uh, full repairs. There's a further 8,700 underway. They've completed 22,000 emergency repairs. Uh, with a further 2,000 emergency repairs underway. There's uh, been over 10,000 heat installations, both heat pumps and solid fuel burners. And they've also completed 112,000 calls to homes across Canterbury to establish their heating needs. Um, EQC on top of that have paid a further 50,000 emergency works invoices from third party contractors. Around land, obviously we, we continue to support uh, CERA and the decisions in, with zoning. In the white zone in the hills, we've continued an inspection process with 30 teams. Currently, they are working in Sumner and Mount Pleasant. Next week, we will be moving into Littleton and Governors Bay. And whilst we complete those areas, we will be mapping uh, Hillsborough, Huntsbury, Broadoaks and Cashmere. And that will continue to remain a priority. Um, obviously, there are homes there where the City Council uh, are continuing to remove the imminent rockfall hazard and once that's completed we'll be able to move into those areas as well. Homes that were, were rear stickered we are developing a safety plan so that we can continue with those inspections so homeowners in those areas have some surety around our inspection process as well. A uh, real uh, focus from EQC uh, from here on in and it's uh, something that uh, we have perhaps lacked is our customer service. So obviously we will be supporting CERA here per with two permanent staff. They'll be uh, equipped with IT so that they can help people through their claims so they will have up to date information available. And we will also, uh, from people that are unable to um, scan or send in their own contents claims, accept and process their content claims in this environment as far as we possibly can. Um, and we'll have more inf information available next week about some other in initiatives we have to extend our reach into the communities. Uh, in summary, as I said, we're really focused on trying to improve our face-to-face -face contact with our claimants. 
To date, we've paid $1.37 billion in claims, and since the 4th of September, that, relate, that average is out at $3.97 million per day. Uh, through the use of Fletcher's PMO and third-party contractors, we have completed 70,000 emergency repairs. Uh, there are, as I said, 10,000 heat installations and a four, further 4,000 units on order. Uh, Fletcher's between full-time employees and contractors have now engaged 3,900 locals uh, on their books as employees and contractors, and our call centres have dealt with 483,000 inbound phone calls. Thank you.